So, what do we want them to do next when they move into the class? Well, a to-do exercise, I believe, is the best way to engage your class from the minute they walk in. People might say, what is a to-do exercise? Again, it's very difficult for me to be overly prescriptive about this. You need to find out whether there's any guidance from your own school. Some schools mean to-do exercises have to be part of your curriculum, part of what you're teaching, whether it's maths, English, science, whatever. Some schools actually just ask that your to-do exercises can be creative. I actually prefer that approach, but you must always go really with what the policy of your own school is. A to-do exercise basically is an exercise which only lasts three to four minutes. It should be prepared for when the students walk in and eventually we should build up their expectations that they know that's going to be there. They go into their class, they sit down and they carry on with that without really any further instructions. You have a TA, it could be that your TA may have to assist some of the uh, SEN students within your class. If you don't have a TA, you have to consider this and, like, as I've said, make sure that everybody in your class has the ability to understand what your to-do exercise is. Because if a student genuinely can't do it without some assistance from a TA, then you've set the wrong to-do exercise for that day. So we've now got them seated. They have got a to-do exercise, which, as I say, make creative but follow your school policy. I could give you some examples of of what I like is to do exercises. Maths department are, are very good at, at setting the topic headings that they did maybe a week or two weeks before if, if, if they were looking at shapes, squares, triangles with their younger students to ensure that they have understood the lessons that were given last week. They may use two or three of their weekly to-dos as a checkpoint really. Homework is a big one for me. I think one day of the week a to-do should be ensuring that students have been given the opportunity to clearly record the homework that you want doing. Later on down the line when you start giving them sanctions for not doing their homework you've really erased any wriggle room that they've got to get out of it. If parents come in angry and you can explain that every week this is the system in your class and their son or daughter knows that they are given the opportunity to fully record their homework, you will quickly get the parent on your side. So all these things start to link in together and we're now three or four minutes into your lesson and hopefully we've got it, we've had a calm entry, we're getting them doing a to-do exercise, we're making sure their homework is recorded, we're making other exercises as engaging as we can, getting them in the right frame of mind for teaching. <laughs>